In Chatsworth, families gathered to remember their loved ones lost in a deadly train accident a decade ago. Gil Reyes reports on why this memorial was so important to the community. The bell rang 25 times to honor all 25 victims killed in the worst train crash in modern California history. It happened 10 years ago this month in Chatsworth. Victims included Ron Grace, a beloved guidance counselor. His son Brian spoke to us. The tragedy that hit us all it really uh, took a while to uh, kind of revisit those memories, but I think after 10 years, um, it's been a really uh, amazing day uh, to hear from everybody and to see everyone come together um, in the midst of tragedy. The victims' families gathered near Stony Point Park, not far from the crash site, to remember that day. A Metrolink train collided with a Union Pacific freight train. Investigators say a Metrolink engineer missed a red signal because he was texting. Chatsworth Councilman Mitchell Englander was there for the rescue effort. So many people came together, first responders, police officers, firefighters, neighbors that left the comfort of their own home and their safety to run towards danger. And I'll tell you, from being one of the ones that were there that night, even if you're a first responder, you don't train for that. Also killed was Beverly Mosley, a registered nurse and administrator at Kaiser Permanente. You know, I lost a mom, and while that hurts, it was also really good to be with other people um, that lost somebody, and also the victims. I met a lady today that was, you know, survived, and that was powerful for me to see where she's come in the 10 years. People also remembered LAPD officer Spree DeShaw. DeShaw's parents flew in from out of town for the ceremony. And they said they couldn't have imagined anything better to come together as a community for a memorial to honor their daughter. Um, to me, to hear that was everything, because that's why we did this. After the crash, Metrolink became the first rail network in the nation to begin using Positive Train Control, a computerized system that tracks train locations to help prevent collisions. Metrolink says its rail system is now the safest in the country.